What's up guys? I'm back. I got another uh, video for you and this one is a surprise. This is a 2018 A5 Sportback. So long story short, my S5 is currently getting serviced right now with the extended warranty that I got on it. The driver's side motor mount on the S5 is, was leaking. Uh, so I went ahead and got that checked out and they're gonna replace it here soon under the extended warranty program. I apologize if there's a lot of wind, but I wanted to do this out in the sun so you guys can get a good look at the S5. tell the styling is very different uh, the color is mythos black and it got 19 inch wheels as well not a bad car so let me go inside real quick and show you guys everything inside plus to get out of this wind real quick all right so I'm inside the 2018 a5 sport back um, as you can see I have the new heads-up display digital display it's not too bad actually. Um, here, let me start the car for you guys. Pretty slick, you got the navigation here up top. You have the AC controls down here. They're also touch sensitive pretty cool. Down below you have the Audi drive select, the automatic on and off start, the ESP, and I'm guessing that's a hill assist, I'm not sure. USB, the uh, revitalized MMI controls, navigation, telephone, your menu, your back button, radio, media, and then you have this large clicker which I'm assuming it's touch sensitive I haven't tested it out yet and then down below you have your gear shift parking volume another USB uh, auxiliary jack uh, these are the same seats that I have in my s5 so they're ventilated it's pretty awesome um, steering wheel fill not too bad it's about just as light as the s5 um, but it's not a stick it's a little thinner the s5 steering wheel is um, has more bolstering feels better in the hand over here you have you know your headlight controls I'm not exactly sure I'm guessing maybe the fog lights this is the heads-up display which is pretty cool I don't know if you can see it just a little bit it's like right there um, and it, it's not bad it actually has a uh, feature that tells you when the traffic lights are about to change and it's been pretty accurate so far I'm surprised about that your, uh, controls for your mirrors windows uh, yeah paddle shifters It's pretty slick. Uh, it drives pretty well because um, this is the A5, so it's on the standard suspension. Other than that, it's not a bad car at all. I'm still not too keen on the design. Um, I like the B8 
and the 8.5 look still. Um, I just think they look a little bit more aggressive than this latest generation, but that's just my personal opinion. And like I said, I just literally got this car from the dealer. I'm not exactly sure when my S5 is going to be done because the appraiser has to come out, you know, just to verify that the motor mount is bad, which it is because I visually checked it um, and it is leaking, which is, you know, fine for how many miles I've had on it. Um, I knew it was going to come due. I changed them in the A5. So I kind of know the procedure, except, you know, I had the extended warranty for this S5. So I said, well, ah, let me just go ahead and have the dealer do it. You know, save me the hassle and trouble. All right, so let me go back outside real quick and show you everything with the car on. I'm gonna turn on all the lights. Roll this down. does come with uh, LED headlights instead of the uh, bi-xenon so that's pretty cool Pretty sure it's just as spacious back here as it is in the A4. We might have a little bit less headroom since it's the sport pack version, so. But yeah, build quality is very similar, if not the same as my S5, so can't complain here. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, my initial impressions of this car drive-wise is I can definitely uh, tell that there's not a supercharger in here. Um, I've kind of gotten used to that now, but it does still have the Audi Drive Select, so I can switch it to dynamic mode if I want, you know, to get a better drive experience. But for right now, I'll just leave it in individual mode so yeah so this, this wasn't really a view just more of an initial look of the 2018 a5 sportback uh if this is a car you're interested in it's not bad not bad at all um, so if you have any questions i'm not sure how long i'm gonna have this car but if you have any questions during 
the time, just let me know. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. All right. Uh, take care.